name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. De eat, God our Consoler. Tell them to come to me, I will help them. I will lighten their burden and sweeten their hard life. I will inebriate them with my fatherly love to make them happy in time and eternity. God is my Father. My Father in heaven, how sweet it is to know that you are my Father and that I am your child, especially when the skies of my soul are cloudy and my cross weighs more heavily, I feel the need to repeat to you, Father, I believe in your love for me. Yes, I believe that you are a father to me at every moment of my life and that I am your child. I believe that you love me with an infinite love. I believe that you are watching over me night and day and that not a hair falls from my head without your permission. I believe that in your infinite wisdom you know better than I what is good for me. I believe that in your infinite power you can bring good even out of evil. I believe that in your infinite goodness you make everything to the advantage of those who love you, even under the hands of those who strike me, I kiss your hand which heals. I believe, but increase in me faith, hope and love. Teach me always to see your love as my guide in every moment of my life. Teach me to surrender myself to you like a baby in its mother's arms. Father, you know everything. You see everything. You know me better than I know myself. You can do everything and you love me. My Father, since it is your wish that we should always turn to you, I come with confidence to ask you together with Jesus and Mary. Here request the favor you desire. For this intention and uniting myself to their most sacred hearts, I offer you all my prayers, my sacrifices and mortifications, all my actions and greater faithfulness to my duties. Give me the light, the grace and the power of thy Holy Spirit. Strengthen in me this spirit, that I may never lose him, never sadden him, and never allow him to become weaker in me. My Father, I ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus. And you, Jesus, open your heart and place in it my own. And together with Mary's, Offer it to our Divine Father. Obtain for me the grace that I need. Divine Father, call all men to yourself. Let all the world proclaim your fatherly goodness and your divine mercy. Be a tender Father to me and protect me wherever I am like the apple of your eye. 
make me always a worthy daughter have mercy on me divine father sweet hope of our souls may you be known honored and loved by all mankind divine father infinite goodness poured out on all peoples may you be known honored and loved by all men divine father beneficent dew of humanity may you be known honored and loved by all men scripture reading lamentations chapter 3 verses 52 to 58 i was trapped like a bird by enemies who had no cause to hate me they threw me alive into a pit and closed the opening with a stone water began to close over me and i thought death was near from the bottom of the pit o lord i cried out to you and when i begged you to listen to my cry you heard you answered me and told me not to be afraid you came to my rescue lord and saved my life this is the word of the lord thanks be to god a meditation for day 8 god a consoler Our world is presently engulfed by a pandemic and has put its inhabitants in a predicament of unprecedented pain and suffering which probably no person presently living on this earth had ever endured People are dying all around us women have suddenly become widows men have become widowers parents have lost their children children have been orphaned people have become jobless those with jobs are not getting their salaries people have no money to buy food and basic necessities the list of miseries is endless this wretched and miserable condition has brought the world to its knees Many are crying God are you there why have you forsaken us This is the same cry that came from the cross at Calvary Eli Eli lama sabatani that is my god my god why hast thou forsaken me Matthew 27 verse 47 The son of God on the cross knew his father would never abandon him. That is why he later said, "Into thy hands I commend my spirit." Gospel of Luke chapter 23 verse 47. Saying so, he surrendered his life into the open consoling arms of his father. When Lazarus died, Mary to express her anguish Lord if thou hadst been here my brother had not died Gospel of John chapter 11 verse 32 Sing the sisters Mary and Martha weep Jesus too was overcome with grief and sympathy and Saint John in his gospel tells us Jesus wept Jesus later lifted up his eyes and said, "Father, I give thee thanks that thou hast heard me." John chapter 11 verse 41. The ever compassionate Father heard the plea of his son and raised Lazarus from the dead. The saints and martyrs were very obedient to their heavenly Father. When they were faced with persecutions, they just looked up to the heavenly father knowing that he was close at hand 
when led to their martyrdom, they were never perturbed. They knew their father was walking with them hand in hand, beat into the den of hungry lions, or the stake to be burnt alive, or the guillotine. They went to their martyrdom singing his praises. They had lived their life according to the will of the Father and knew a great reward awaited them. Saint Thomas More said, Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Dear friends, let us always remember that we have a God whose love for us knows no boundary. He not only knows our every pain and sorrow, He feels our pain, He weeps for, with us. When we call on Him, He sends His angels to be with us and comfort us. Did He not assure us of His comfort? Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Matthew chapter 5 verse 5 Prayer for the day. Lord, you are the friend of a lonely heart, the comfort of a troubled soul. Come to my rescue. Pull me out of this sea of despair. You are my hope, my comforter. You will not fail me. You will not abandon me. I trust in you. I believe in your love for me. Thank you, my Father, for your presence for your loving head that soothes and heals. Thanksgiving Prayer Heavenly Father, we thank you for having given us this opportunity to spend time in prayer and thanksgiving to you, our merciful God. We thank you for having given us the gift of life. We thank you for our families, our friends, and all who constantly reflect your love and mercy to us. We thank you for the infinite love you have shown to each one of us. Your love, dear Father, is our hope. It is due to this immense love that we were saved from the tyranny of the evil one. We thank you for your unfathomable mercy which has touched and melted the hearts of so many of us and changed us from souls hardened and embittered by the storms of life to souls burning with love for you. We thank you for the great care and concern you have for each one of us. You, our loving Father, protect us so tenderly and keep us safe in the palm of your hand. We thank you, good Father, for answering all our prayers and providing for all our needs. May we never fail to praise you, our Father, and give you thanks, and may we always remember that your love will follow us wherever we go and be our consolation in moments of grief. Loving Father, our Lord and Creator, we praise you, we adore you, we love you, and we thank you. Merciful Jesus, only begotten Son of the Father, we praise you, we adore you, we love you, and we thank you. Holy Spirit, our sanctifier and guide, we praise you, we adore you, we love you, and we thank you. Our Lady, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother, pray for us, all angels and saints, pray for us.
Thank you.